ChatGPT is making waves in AI community and beyond that because it's simply amazing. So OpenAI is known for uh, developing GPT, uh, which is this large language model that can process anything and output anything. And already GPT-2 was great for uh, just simple articles. GPT-3 was truly amazing and is still used and developed. There was this model called DaVinci and uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, OpenAI released DaVinci 003, which is really great for writing longer forms and also rhyming the people are playing around like that uh, chat gpt uh, is some i think variation on um, da vinci model from gpt3 trained especially so that it understands context and takes that count, uh, context into account also it's working really quickly. It's really a great job on the infrastructure because there are like millions of people trying to do simultaneously different kind of things on chat uh, GPT. So if you're having any problems, uh, just wait a little bit because there's so much traffic going in into uh, open AI servers. Uh, they are probably melting the bunch of GPUs right now. Uh, really crazy to try it. Really great also. So let me show you how it looks inside basically it looks like a chat so you can uh, write to the to the bot uh, in this way and you get the uh, answer generated by uh, by the language model uh, you can for example write uh, write me a simple python code for um, reading csv file and outputting uh, it or maybe and printing the top five columns so to make it something sim uh, simple uh, and basically this is the the most amazing part you just get a code so <laughs> this is really great because you can copy the code use it in a jupyter notebook and make it work right right away you can also write for some something more complicated so for example write me a tensorflow or maybe a keras uh, machine a keras code for um, make it a linear um, regression. Uh, um, yeah, let let's start with that. Uh, this is uh, so even if it's not cor grammatically correct, you still can get something. And the great thing is. The model is trying to actually make everything correct. So as you can see, this wasn't really good English here with uh, write me a curse code for a linear regression. Uh, I haven't uh, made anything specific, uh, but then still, uh, the model itself defined the input and output data, which is truly amazing. Uh, there was like a sequential model. You can add different layers to that. And basically you have really simple model to already run uh, on that. And at the first glance, it makes sense. So this is amazing for how to how to do uh, different stuff and people are really already speculating about this replacing google to a certain extent because this might work as a search engine where you actually get the whole answer at once uh, this is truly amazing also the fact that uh, basically school essays are dead right now because you can get an essay on any subject in just two clicks just by asking the right question and this shows already where it's all going meaning that People who will benefit the most from that are the people who can ask the correct question, the right questions, the proper questions that will get you the answer you want. Uh, because the better questions you ask, the better answers you get, the more precise answer you get. What's amazing about this particular model is that it can understand context. So for example, if I were to add it, uh, for example, modify uh, the previous Keras code to... Uh, test also polynomial regression, then I would expect that it would show me the code for uh, polynomial regression as well. So you can see that the data here is exactly the same. So it's actually taking the same, the same data, uh, but it's uh, instead of performing linear regression, it's performing polynomial regression right now. This is uh, Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, I was also playing around with more complicated code where you would take actually the whole code and you paste it in this thing, um, yeah, in the chat box, and you actually get very uh, much more complicated things. Uh, people were also testing stuff like uh, taking uh, 
complicated code and asking where's the error, what's the mistake. And in many cases, ChatGPT3 were able to answer that. They were pre precisely able to pinpoint what's the error in the code. It doesn't work always. It's not this um, omnionomous uh, machine that knows everything about uh, anything, but we're probably getting there to some extent. Uh, the interesting part is, of course, how this will influence uh, coding, doing research. I guess a lot of things that uh, are repetitive and simple, like you know, playing around with basic machine learning models on Keras, this is something standard and it will be much faster. As you can see, this is like a, a, a good code that I can take and modify uh, to my own purpose, taking my own data and trying to predict something. Uh, I could also quickly modify it. Uh, the amazing part here is that it really understands the context. So you can see that I just wrote, modified the previous curse code to test also polynomial regression. And it no, the model knew already that I was referring to the previous written code by itself. Uh, so this is really great. So for example, uh, I could also write, rewrite the, the previous uh, called in uh, I don't know PyTorch for example and see uh, and see what happens here so uh, it actually understood that I'm going for linear regression uh, here but I will get the the code in PyTorch and this is really really cool so <laughs> you can really uh, make things like that also if, for example you find a code on github you want to rewrite it in some particular fa uh, way uh, for example from PyTorch to Keras uh, you can really go through ChatGPT3, through ChatGPT to make it faster. And I expect that those kind of applications will be more and more common. Uh, it's really amazing looking at the progress of language models over the time because there's so many applications and I think we're at the very beginning of that. Of course, if you try to make more complicated things and you go into details, also some of the code won't work, uh, you get errors. Uh, it's not like the, this it's still not at the stage where it gets you any answer on any topic always right but it's really good for drafting even code drafting various concepts having this framework for how to approach the problem if you have no idea or maybe uh, it can re replace some of the google searches as well uh, i really recommend you for playing around it uh, the the domain is chat.openai.com that's it you just go uh, you have to log in with your uh, uh, open ai uh, id which you can get for free it's just a logging up and you can start using that for free which is pretty amazing uh, so as you can see python code is fine you can also ask about uh, different uh, opinions uh, or write a script for a movie uh, really amazing to play around it truly recommend it i'll be coming back to this model as well thank you for watching subscribe to the channel see you in the next video